Yo, what's it guys? It's your boy CM from Triff Gaming. Welcome back to another video of the greatest YouTube on the planet. Today's video is simple. Hani has been talking that smack. So, we're going to be giving him the work. It's going to be me versus him. We dueled. We did a whole match. Happened a few days ago, like last week or something. Another time to upload it. A whole bunch of YCS stuff happened. YC200, everything. Now that the, the hype of the balance out of the way, now that the hype of the YCS is, is like slowly coming to an end, I can now post this video. We had our match. Played best 2 out of 3. He played Sky Striker because he didn't have the Gahonas to face me with Goki. And uh, I did build my deck to uh, face Goki. So it did prove to be a disadvantage. But we'll see what happens in the match. I'm going to commentate the match. Uh, we do play on Luxury Gaming all the time. So make sure to go give Luxury Gaming a follow. And while you're at it, make sure to subscribe to both Trip Gaming and Trip Fitness. And Trip Sports will be released soon. We're going to be having three YouTubes. I want to make YouTube a full-time thing, so support your boy, guys. Make sure to subscribe to all my channels, and subscribe to Luxury Gaming, because we do play all the time, uh, like, a bunch of times. And uh, I'm not going to tell you who won between me and Hani, but we are going to have a rematch, and we're going to do a huge series, huge, huge, to determine uh, who's the greatest player, which is by far me, because Hani is a little mop boy that uh, is a little end to me. But I love squashing ants, it's fun. So without further ado, here's the match. Enjoy. Alright, and here we go. Right, me versus Hani. Uh, this did get streamed on the Luxury Gaming Twitch. It was like a week ago or something. I was hyped for this match, man. I was super hyped. I, I, what, a, what a match, honestly. Uh, so we're just waiting. Uh, <laughs> oh, we got some little banter going. Uh, you know, this banter started when... A long time ago, when Hani was, uh, Hani was like, he was, uh, he wasn't the Robin to my Batman, he wasn't that, he was more like, uh, he was more like, how do I see, he was more like the Alfred to the Batman, you know what I mean, like, uh, back when Pendulums were, 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 when Electrum wasn't even out, uh, he was at all my videos, trying to learn how to do stuff. And I was just like, bro, like, I taught you so much, and you're still going to talk smack. That's when I was like, I'm going to whoop your ass on stream. And uh, he said he's going to play Goki. I made this deck to play, uh, to, that was my mistake. I, like, a big, I made a big mistake, never do this. Uh, I literally built this deck to face Goki, and, because I thought he would build it to face Pendulum. Like, I was expecting anti spells, all that type of stuff. I was expecting all that. I just knew it was going to come. One second, I'm going to put this right down here. That we didn't stop all that. Shoot one sec. I'll put it like, put it like right here. There we go. Like, yeah, bro. Like, like I literally, uh, I thought I was gonna do some stuff. Pendulum. So I thought, you know what? I know he's gonna do it. So I'm gonna do it too. So I built a deck to destroy Goki. Uh, but it did bite me in the ass. Uh, game two. Uh, you'll, you'll see eventually when, when it comes. Uh, but uh, so we're playing. Uh, he does a little little uh, crafty play to make sure he gets uh double the two widows out. Uh, cause if you have Less than that, I'm going to OTK you easily. And so, he does a typical uh, striker board. So, he sets he sets three in total. Uh, he has uh, two Widows set and an unknown. We open Shrine. We open Shrine, a bunch of random cards. We open Average. Uh, so, he ashes the Shrine. He ashes the Shrine. Uh, so, he has Double Widow and Ash, but we don't care. Strikers suck. This is going to be a perfect example of why Strikers suck. I want you guys to pay close attention here. Alright, because... He ashed me and he has double widow, but I want you guys to see what I'm about to do. It's about playing smart. Strikers always sucked, right? Nothing changed. The deck just sucks. So he ashes my shrine when I have no other uh, turbo cards. So it's a rough situation. What am I going to do? I'm going to summon the dark worm and he negates it. Because what else is he going to negate? He's going to negate one dark worm. He's going to negate like a normal summon effect and he'll negate one electrum. After you, like, you, you got, we already know he has two. So. And we got the zero, we're just going to attack for game. So, uh, he has no ray in there. So, we're going to, we don't put the oaf there because we want to save it there for Naruto. And then, uh, we just pendulum everything. We put harmonizing an attack to be able to have access to use purple poison. And we're waiting for his response. We don't have anything in his hand. Uh, we're waiting to see if he's going to negate the, uh, negate the harmonizing. And a lot of stuff can happen here. Like, we have so many different ways to, to, uh, to play here. We know all we got to deal with is one Widow. So we're trying to OTK here. The deck's strikers suck. You're trying to OTK them ASAP. So we're trying to OTK through a Widow. 
Uh, so we go Naruto, uh, Naruto right off the bat. Because now he uh, he didn't do any harmonizing. He shouldn't anyways. Because if he stopped harmonizing, I think we're just one. Uh, so we go Naruto uh, to allow us to go into Electrum. Uh, so then right after that, we go into Electrum. And I'm just going to show you like the most basic way to win. Uh, so we have Naruto to negate the Widow. And we got the Electrum. We're going to send Chronograph. We're going to pop the Pearl Poison to pop the Shizuku. And what do you know? If you look at that, that's 8,000 damage. Uh, boom. Just like that, they can't do anything. Uh... They opened Double Widow and an Ash, and we OTK'd. Like, this deck, and like, they Ashed the Shrine. We couldn't even make an Electro before our Pen Summon. It's all about craftiness. Strikers suck. Now he attempts to use this to negate Naruto. He doesn't have the spells to take it. He uses this, uh, the Widow to uh, attempt to negate Naruto because he's a clear Gamma in hand. But I'm not an idiot, so I'm like, no problem, bro. Uh, no problem. And, uh,. Game 1 goes to the Pen God. Uh, that's just literally proof that Pendulums are far superior than Shit Striker. Because if you have a brain, you'll know when to activate certain cards, to bait certain cards, and it's extremely easy to OTK and win. And if they have a Ray uh, engrave, uh, it's still easy to win. It just you got to do one extra attack, which is no problem whatsoever. Or a Jackal Negate, whatever it is. So now it's Game 2. Spoiler alert, Hani opens absolutely busted. Uh, so we'll see what uh, you guys will see for yourselves. Uh, but I don't care. I I'm still certain I was going to win anyways. Uh, so we're, we're going to keep going here. Does a few things. Uh, he will end on three Widows, which is super tough and double hand trap. Uh, sorry to spoil it there, but he's going to have three Widows, double hand trap, and a Ray. Uh, and engages. Like, it is it's going to be super tough, but... Again, I will show you examples here of how to up, uh, how to play through certain things. Uh, but sometimes hand traps do get you. So if they have triple widow, it's no issue. If they have three widow, it's extremely easy to win through three widow. It's no problem. It's the hand traps on top of the widows that because you, you don't know what you don't know them, right? Like you don't know what uh, what hand traps they have. Uh, sometimes the hand traps are irrelevant, but sometimes they're important. So it's all dependent on that. So uh, he's gonna, yes, yeah, so he's gonna have engage, uh, he's gonna have two engages to start his turn, he's gonna have three widows, and two hand traps, and unknown, so this is our hand, so right off the bat, we're gonna foolish, in an attempt to bait an ash, I thought there's no way he's gonna have three widows and ash, but we still you wanna bait it, so boom, we baited the ash, and now we have pen called dark worm, so we're good, we're in a great situation here, uh, so we pen call, we had two stuff, and then, uh, we got worm and grave, and so far we're good. So we had two cards. We're gonna add uh Black Fang and Janky. The reasons there's reasons to both. And uh, we use Dark Room Effect to add the zero in hopes he negates it. He does not negate it. Uh totally fine. We summon a Dark Worm. We could have done a lot of stuff there. We could have Tornado Dragon pop one thing, but there's no point in doing that. Uh because they have so many interruptions anyways. And we'll double engage the next turn, like you have so many other plays that we have to OTK right now. Uh, I know it's going to be tough. Uh, Ash, Triple, Widow. You got to look at it like this. He has four interruptions and a deck usually has two or three. Three Widows and an Ash. What, with an Engage in hand, there's a very, 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 very low chance that uh, the, uh, one of the other two cards are a Hand Trap. Because you already had an Ash and you already has three Widows. Uh, that's four interruptions. What's the chance he has five in a deck that barely puts up three? Uh, it's extremely tough for them to put up three. Uh, so we activate the Electrum Effect. And he goes ogres, so it's extremely uh, tough there. Uh, if he didn't go ogre, I'm sure we're, we're, we could have OTK'd here uh, with the cards we got. We, we could have OTK'd 100%. We're going to uh, do so many plays, uh, and I couldn't believe he had all that. Like three widows, double engage, Ash and ogre. It's fine. Like uh, there's times we open broken. That's the equivalent of opening like pen call, dark worm, Cerberus, foolish, and uh, like everything. Like five turbo cards. That's the equivalent of five turbo cards with three electrums, but We'll give it to him. We can't do anything from that because uh, it was just extremely unfortunate that Electrum was gone. Uh, considering the fact that he already had three Widows, uh, Ash, and an Ogre. Now, we go first here. The hand is not uh, the best, but we'll see. We need to draw a Turbo card with the Desires. Uh, so, off the bat, we need a Turbo card. Uh, we got the Foolish. So, we're going to Foolish. We're going to get Dark Worm out. We did banish the Zero, which hurts a lot. We did want that Zero. Uh, now we're going to summon Electrum. We're Electrum, use Effect. Uh, he goes over his Electrum, which obviously hurts. But 
uh, it is counted for because we we play the hamster. Uh, so hamsters, that's why you play hamster. Hamster's absolutely busted. Ha if you draw a hamster, it lets you play through Ghost Ogre like it's no problem. Because now, <coughs> uh, now we're gonna send uh, whatever we wanted to get with the hamster. So we're gonna hamster. We're gonna add two dark worm, uh, dark worms back. And now we're gonna be able to get uh, do this line, use those lines, get pen call, and pen call the dark worm. Uh, we already used. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna pen call dark worm. We already used dark worm's effect uh, from foolish. So we can't use it, but at least we have a Dark Worm in there for next turn. So I'd rather, di uh, if I could discard anything, it would be a Dark Worm, right? So that's why we got that instead. And now, uh, we're going to put the open skill to get the Harmonizing. Unfortunately, we can't pen something from the extra deck, but that's totally fine. Uh, we did get Ghost Ogre, but we're going to have uh, Vortex and uh, Omega here. Uh, this is where we would have got Vortex, Karen Gorgon. So like I said... Uh, because I didn't know what we were playing, this was an auto win here. Uh, if we Vortex and Karen Gorgon, we won. If we just got Vortex with that, made Land for Lacus, whatever that card is, and then I had uh, that land card, and then Vortex and Karen Gorgon. So we could have a Vortex here and a Karen Gorgon here, but uh, because we didn't know, because we didn't know we were facing Striker, we were not 100%, like 1 million percent we're facing Goki, because we told each other it was going to be Goki, uh, Goki Peasant versus Pen God. So, I prepped the deck for Goki, uh, not knowing his... Uh, obviously, it was a, a slimy move on my part to make it for Goki, but I thought it was like a given we're both going to be doing that for our extra decks because we knew what we were facing. Uh, so, I took out Karen Gorgon completely, but if there was a Karen... Uh, instead of Omega, this would have been a Karen Gorgon, and that would have been game. Because with Karen Gorgon, I wouldn't negate the... the I wouldn't negate a multi-roll with Vortex, and then, boom, he can't do anything after that. Because none of his stuff could target my things. And the turn after, I'm just going to Pendulum Summon and, and win. So, we would have won the duel there if we had a Karen Gorgon, which we didn't. So, uh, we'll take the L for that. Uh, never change your extra deck just because you're going to face someone. It would really affect the duel. But, hey, it's not over yet. Yeah, our Vortex is going to die. But, we're simply going to add... We're going to get Omega back. We're going to add uh, Harmonizing back with Oaf. And uh, we have plays next turn. So, hope is not lost. Uh, we continue playing. Yeah, he's going to plus a little. Uh, we do intend to OTK him next turn. Uh, we'll see how it goes. So, puts another there. He puts uh, another field spell down to ensure that he's going to have three spells. So, with the three spells, he could add... Uh, he could draw. Then he burner. Does that add pen call so my cards can't get destroyed. And then, uh, searches uh, a hornet to ensure he has a play next turn. And then, boom. So, I draw a level four. Uh, I'm gonna obviously have the harmonizing and I'm gonna pen. Uh, there's a lot of stuff I could do here. I make off the top to ensure I get the remember the dark one my pen called. This will have uh, uh, four level fours to play with. Uh, I assume this is a uh, that could be anything. Uh, he didn't use Widow earlier, so I really assume that was just a, a bluff. Uh, which it turns out it is just a bluff. Uh, so we use Omega uh, right away to bring out Dark Worm. One thing to note is when Omega eventually does die. You can bring Electrum back. I did think I could also normal summon, like uh, I can normal summon a uh, Razor, Link into anything, uh, get Omega back, bring Electrum back. But if I did that, I had literally zero play afterwards. Uh, that's good. So I couldn't do that. Uh, so we banished that. We banished Omega to make sure Dark One comes out. This is where double zero would have come clutch. Uh, so it's an, one thing to note in my little notebook. I think I will be playing double zero moving forward. And boom. So now we have four monsters out. And again, where Karen Gorgon hurts drastically. If we had another, if we had a Karen Gorgon, just like before, we won easily. Because we're going to Karen Gorgon. And we're going to pop uh, a lot of his stop. And then he had a ray in there, but it's really irrelevant. Even Karen Gorgon Dweller. Like, he can't do anything to any of that. And uh, it's extremely unfortunate that we didn't have Karen Gorgon. So we're going to hold the L for that. Uh, we did lose. Uh, this is where we really, I thought, oh, I'm like, oh, I'm so sad. I didn't have my extra deck ready. My extra deck was not ready for uh, for Sky Circus whatsoever, uh, but now it is. So, uh, the, the list you guys saw, my updated list, it, it's 100% updated. This list is bad. Like, the extra, deck, the extra deck list is bad. I literally built this specially just for Goki. So, uh, I did lose. It's fine. Honey won. Great match. This is no excuse. No excuses whatsoever. Honey won fair and square. Uh, Honey lost by my misplay of, of uh, fixing my extra deck. My extra deck was not built properly. It's not an excuse. He won fair and square by that deck building is uh, 50 percent of of Yu-Gi-Oh. The other 50 percent is not being a scrub. So even though we, we played we played fantastically, 
We found a way to be crafty to, to OTK game one through three interruptions. Uh, game two, we couldn't do anything regardless. Uh, like, you're not going to do anything. It's five interruptions. And game three, uh, we had the game. We had Karen Gorgon. But duly noted, you never lose. You only learn. So we learned from this. Karen Gorgon is now safely in the extra deck because 50% of all YCS 200 tops were striker, which means moving forward since the world is a bunch of sheep, you're going to be seeing a bunch of strikers moving forward. Karen Gorgon in the gate is an easy W against that garbage deck, but we are more concerned with Goki. Uh, against Goki, it's a lot more tough to beat. Against striker, it's a lot easier, but we do give him this win due to our misplay of deck building. No excuse. Great game. Hani, you're still an ant, and uh, we will have our rematch. There you have it. You win some, you lose some. Unfortunately, we lost that one. It was a great match. You open absolutely busted. Uh, you went first game one. We overcome it. We OTK'd. Game two, you open absolutely busted. I had a little like six interruptions or something against me. Couldn't do anything about it. And then game three, uh, just a bad... Uh, uh, sometimes hand drops do hurt. And overall, just uh, it was a bad hand to begin with. And stuff happened. If I had my extra deck better... Like my, my like I said, I didn't have Kerry Gorgon there. The extra deck wasn't ready for Strike Girls for Goki. It was a great match. This is no complaints, no excuses. I lost. It was a fantastic match. Uh, if I fix the extra deck better, uh, that's a little lesson to be learned there. Don't build your extra deck just to face your weak points. Make sure you can still beat the bad decks like Strikers. If I had Kerry Gorgon in there, uh, it was over. I won the match. So uh, let that be a lesson. Uh, build the deck, uh, extra deck, and main deck for every matchup. Uh, especially the extra deck because you can just go in like a toolbox whenever you need. So it was a great match. Hani's still an ant to me, and I'm by far the superior player. We're going to be having a match two on the Twitch Luxury Gaming very, very soon. So uh, it will be updated, and I will destroy him in the rematch. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to subscribe to Trip Gaming, Trip Fitness, and soon to be Trip Sports, and give Luxury Gaming a follow. And we'll see you guys at the next video.